The Comedy MX Entertainment Channel spotlights unique videos found nowhere else. Visit world fairs, see atomic explosions, the golden age of trains, rare comedy features. You can even see the USA in your Chevrolet. It starts with a big capital E that stands for enjoy and never ends. So indulge your passions and binge watch all night. Shine for homes with active. Let's be thankful. Let's be grateful. Let's be happy that of turkey we've a playful. Let's forget the winter that we withstood. We're in clover because the harvest was good. Pass the peace pipe, friendly Indians, as the peace gets underway. Let us join in this Thanksgiving, we're lucky to be living on our first Thanksgiving day. For Captain Standish, his manner is outlandish, in other words, he's the end. And here he is, the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much. Well, tonight is our show. Our show is about uh, Thanksgiving, and we're going to talk about turkeys, and boy, do we have one. <laughs> you know, everybody around Thanksgiving is always so funny. Everyone at the dinner table, they always say, I want a drumstick, I want a drumstick. Well, there's a scientist has now crossed a rabbit with a turkey, and this turkey now has four legs. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. They can't catch him. <laughs> But you know, uh, you can connect turkeys with Thanksgiving, but there are some people who realize there's more than turkey, more than the cranberries, and more than the, uh, the pies and the cakes and everything. There's something more important after all of that, the bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> we have a family tradition at our house. Every year, all the relatives get together and they go to someone else's house for dinner. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> oh, appetite. This year, we're going to have a buffet style. We have to do it that way. Last year, they ate the table. <laughs> and you just hear my wife now saying, why do you say things like that about mother and father? <laughs> well, they're always saying, give me some white meat, give me the dark meat, give me the white meat, give me the dark meat. This year, I got it figured out. I'm getting a zebra. <laughs> and my little boy, Richard, is getting ready to go into a school play at his school, and he's running around the house saying, eight o'clock and all's well. <laughs> eight o'clock and all's well. <laughs> I said, what's the matter? Aren't you happy you're going to be in the play? He said, yeah, I'm rehearsing. I said, rehearsing? He's on the town choir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at, around Thanksgiving time, there comes the big problem of who's going to carve the turkey and who can do it the best. Have you ever noticed different people, the way they carve turkey? Hey, uh, bring out the table, will you? Bring out the table. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, who's got a script? Give me a script. Wait a minute. Don't go away. Give me a script. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to read you something here. Wait a minute now. Where is this thing? Here. Right here. Now, get this. See? This is how they tricked me into these things. Listen. It says, uh, I call, uh, Skelton calls for a table. Table, please. Two gorgeous girls in abbreviated costumes. <laughs> Well, 
I'll tell you, it says in skeleton eyes them. <laughs> you guys go shave and I'll see you later. <laughs> Take it with you, will you? Yeah, now, different people carving a turkey. Now, first you have a barber carving. A barber. sympathize with the turkeys. Of course, we have a lot in common. I never know when I'm going to get the axe either. You know? <laughs> but anyhow, there's a turkey farm that I go out to, and I've noticed that turkeys have their own personalities, you know? I'll show you what I mean. They, they're all like this. They've got these things up here, you know? <laughs> but next year, I should have one under here, too. You know? <laughs> turkeys like this. First, you have the guy that's... First, you have a turkey that's always nervous. One well, of these turkeys. Long now. Have you heard from the governor? You know why they're fattening us up, don't you? The way I tell you, it's embarrassing. Here I am, a turkey with goose pimples. I'm only going to ask for one request. I get the Ames brothers to sing It Only Hurts for a little while. There's one turkey, no kidding out at this turkey farm. I've been going out there for six years, and that turkey's there every year. He's a sneaky thing. Every time around Thanksgiving, he begins to look pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> this year, he's developed a limp. <laughs> The other turkey's going around, gobble, 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 gobble. Not him. He walks up to the customers and goes. <laughs> Double and redouble. That's game. I'll have things on in just a minute. Can I help? Oh, new floor? No, you can take these in. Okay. Somebody say new floor? No, it's not that. It's a new shine. I've changed brands. It's glow coat. Johnson's glow coat. Why, I thought everybody used glow coat. They should. That soft wax I used to use, you know what they say. Poor soft wax starts to go in no time. It scuffs at a touch. If you want to get rid of scuffing, you certainly have to use a shine that's tough. Well, that's glow coat for you. Looks like a new floor. Everybody thinks it's a new floor. See what Marge says. Mmm, glow coat. Priscilla, dear, it is getting colder. Would thou put another log on the fire? I'm sorry, Mother, there's no more wood. Uh, no wood, no food. Surrounded by savage Indians. How shall we ever survive this terrible winter? Fear not, Mother. Miles Dandish and John Alton are out hunting for food. Perhaps they'll be of help. Priscilla! <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Didst thou shoot any game, John? Yay, and verily. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it was back here. 
There it is. <laughs> now, there's meat on the table. There, Mother. You can put the feathers on and laugh. Go further. I couldn't miss it. It had built a little nest in the end of my gun. And all I had to do was to pull the trigger. But... John, why didn't thou pull the trigger? Well, it's dangerous to leave a, leave a loaded gun in the house. It might go off accidentally, you know. <laughs> oh. Me think it's, this is awful thin for butter. That's not butter. That's wash water. I'm doing the laundry. <laughs> for wash water, me think it is very thick. <laughs> but you know that's for butter? Thou knowest we cannot make butter without milk. And this I must tell you, we have not had milk since we had to eat the cow. Well, why don't you get milk from the cat? <laughs> now, uh, ridiculous. How can you get milk from a cat? Steal the saucer when she ain't looking. <laughs> well, I may be a pilgrim, but I ain't making much progress. <laughs> Don't worry, though. We may be suffering pilgrims, but we must not lose our sense of humor. <laughs> oh, there. It has been a freezing winter, has it not, John? Yes, it has. That's the trouble with winter. The cold weather always comes in the coldest part of the year. <laughs> Why doesn't it come in the summer when we could use it? <laughs> uh, John. Good. I have knitted thee a sweater to keep thee warm while thou art hunting. No. Oh, and my favorite color, turkey snout red. Charlie. <laughs> yes, I'm glad to. Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, but I can't see a thing. <laughs> Good heavens, we'll be rich. I have just invented the first filter. <laughs> oh, silly. Now. <coughs> there, now thou shalt be nice and warm while thou art hunting. Oh. Uh, you take good care of yourself. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. It just did. <laughs> Don't worry, I shall be careful. You remember to be careful. I will be careful. <laughs> well, hunting, we will go. <laughs> oh. John, do be careful. I got news for you, that thing's murder. You gotta do something. <laughs> but I mean, I've been shot! like a good place. Set one of the bear traps yonder. Yes, Captain Sanders. Ah, bear meat may not be very tender, but we can't be particular. Hey, verily. One bear could feed our entire colony. Aye. Come, we'll have a look over by yon hill. How do you like that? They want me to shoot a duck. Why, the fall alone would kill him. <laughs> Let me give thee a hand. I wish you would. This one's no good anymore. <laughs> John, how didn't thou get thy hand caught in the trap? Well, it was like this. First, I got my foot caught, and then I put my hand... Oh! Oh! Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, I'd like to get my hands on the scoundrel to set that trap. I know it. Who said it? You do, huh? Well, I'd like to tell him a thing or three. <laughs> it was I. I set the trap. Miles Standish, I wish you'd keep your trap shut. <laughs> ah! Don't point that at me. Don't you know those things are dangerous? Don't you know anything about guns? <laughs> well, 
Tell me of these traps around here. Huh? We're so desperate for food, we're willing to eat bear. Oh. <laughs> We're willing to eat bear. Are you? Oh. <laughs> now don't look at me. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> John Alden, how canst thou jest in such trying times as these? Miles Standish, remember the old saying. A cloud with a silver lining is worth two in the bush. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but it cheers me up. Ah. <laughs> uh. In addition to my many problems worrying about the plight of our colony, uh, now I have fallen in love. No! Yes. Oh. And rugged soldier that I am, I'm too shy to propose to her. Say no more, Captain Miles Standish. I shall uh, be your friend and I shall propose for you. John Woodst? Couldst? For thee. <laughs> for thee. <laughs> all that other old time talk. <laughs> Thou art wonderful. Thou art my dearest friend. Oh. Truly, I love thee. Oh. Well, I don't know why you're afraid to propose to her. I'm ready to say yes myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. Well, uh, tell me, who's your lucky girl? Uh, her name is Priscilla. Who? <laughs> Priscilla? Good heavens, I trapped myself. said I wanted children and a nice house, too. I'd keep things looking good, I said, or know the reason why. Well, now I know what a mother's problems are. Children and houses both take time and trouble. And I couldn't keep up at all without such things as pride. Johnson's pride. With pride, furniture care is a lot easier. You just smooth pride on, wiping away smudges and stains as you go. You let pride dry, and a haze forms. Now you're almost through. Just wipe away the haze. Don't rub. And there's your clean, bright shine. Not oily, no dust catcher. And lovely. Gives you a place you're proud of. And one that's nice to come home to. Use the no-rubbing furniture polish from Johnson's Wax, recommended by 51 leading furniture makers for light and dark finishes. Buy pride in the big economical pint bottle, Johnson's Pride. Come in. John, do come in. You're just saying that. <laughs> John, thou forgot to close the door. Did thou us? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Didst thou hurt thyself? Think nothing of it. I always flop around here. <laughs> Please sit down. I'm going to talk it to thee. <laughs> Priscilla? There's something I would like to ask thee. Yes, John? Priscilla, there comes a time in every man's life... I do, I do. <laughs> Wait a minute! I, I'm sorry. Go oh. ahead. What I'm trying to say is that, well, man wasn't meant to live alone. He must have... I do, oh, I do. Will you take it easy? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, John. I, I guess I'm just nervous. You're not nervous, you're anxious. <laughs> It's the nearness of you. Oh, really? Well, then I'll stand over here. <laughs> Priscilla, I love you very much. Will you marry Miles Standish? John, you've made me the happiest woman in the world. Oh. Of course I'll marry Miles Standish. Why? <laughs> but, what art thou trying to say? Well, you see, Miles Standish asked me to ask you to get married. Uh, to him, not to me, see? He wants me to ask you to marry him. He don't want you to marry me. That's why he sent me over here to ask you to marry him and not me. <laughs> He's kind of sneaky that way. Is that clear? Yes. 
You mind explaining it to me? <laughs> I lost me after the first hymn. John, if thou art proposing to me for Miles Standish, I have only one thing to say. What? Speak for yourself, John. No. <laughs> Well, it'll be fun learning to use that ear again. <laughs> Tell me, do your knitting needles have feathers on them? No. Then I believe we're being attacked by Indians. Indians? John, we have to fight. Fight? We're not even married yet. <laughs> Do something. Do something, huh? Well, I intend to. <laughs> That's the way you want it. Put up your dukes. Come on. <laughs> Indians! Indians! The house is surrounded by wild savage Indians. Do you realize what that means? Yeah, by tomorrow this time, we'll probably be singing with the crew cuts. <laughs> your gun is over here. Yeah. You keep shooting. Yeah. The mother will load guns, and I'll make bullets. You make the bullets. Hurry, hit the lead out. <laughs> There. Hey, one we'll piece of the corner of the thing. Oh, I got him. Keep him coming, will you, Mom? Keep him coming. There's some more. Whee! Another one. Keep those guns coming. Hurry up. Give me a gun. Hurry. Oh, there goes two of them. There goes two of them. Ah, I got two of them with one bullet. That big fat one looks just like your mother. Okay. Here comes another one. Oh, bite the dust, you redskins. Oh, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Come on, give me the gun, give me the gun. They're closing in on us. They're practically breathing down my neck. <laughs> Come on, get a move on, get a move on. We gotta get... <laughs> Be silly. Would you believe me if I told you that I was an Indian in disguise? No. Oh. White man ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be my guest. Be my guest. Go first. After you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> tooth. Still bad. He big toothache. <laughs> Gee, you heal quick. It's me, John Old. John. Turn them war dance. Light up fire. Burn them up pale faces. When I go like this, it's not a war dance. I got a hot foot. Wow. <laughs> Wait. You know, talk like people of my tribe. Well, you see, I'm the West Coast Indian. I'm a Stanford Indian. <laughs> Are you sure you Indian? Sure, I'm sure. Sure, my name is John Alden. I mean, uh... Wait. You see him blanket? Yeah, you can get a better buy in Albuquerque. <laughs> Hey, Tie him up! Now, wait a minute! Oh. Oh, what's the matter? Well, 
fathom two. Oh, well, you see, I could help you, but now I'm all tied up. <laughs> you cure him toothache? Sure, I can cure him toothache. Me give anything, you cure him toothache. Oh, you just say that. Anything. Anything? Give us our freedom? Anything, you cure him toothache. I'll cure Let go Let's of go. me, will you? John, John, thou art wonderful. Dost thou think how thou can free us? Dost, dost. <laughs> First, it's going to be like pulling teeth, but I'll do it. <laughs> Here, now, open up, will you? Wow. I wondered where the yellow went, now I know. Gee, <laughs> it looked like a bowling alley with one pin standing. <laughs> you do fill those with coal? Give <laughs> me a piece of rawhide, will you? I'll get that out for you in no time, Chief. There you are. Here now, where's the tooth? Right over there, huh? There we are. There, now bite down. Now let go, you sucker! Round! <laughs> <laughs> there, you ready? You ready now? Hold him. Hold him, head. One, <laughs> two, three. Well! <laughs> He's a windy old bird, ain't he? <laughs> bad, bad tooth of God. Bad tooth of God. He feel him good. Good, good. Uh, have big feet. Big of our turkeys have big feet. Oh, pale faces, cook. Oh, boy, look at that king size smorgasbord. A shish kebab. There, who he eat now, huh? Captain Miles Den. This is truly wonderful. The red man and the white man living in peace and harmony. Oh. I suggest that we set aside this day for feasting and happiness. Good and idea. Thanks. Good idea. Good idea. Now, what should we call this day for giving thanks? I got an idea. Labor Day. No. <laughs> uh, how about uh, Tuesday? Oh, Fourth of July? I have. We shall call this day Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wonderful man. Nah, it'll never catch on. <laughs> Wait. We want them all ready for squaw. Well, now we got something to be thankful for. <laughs> You'd think delicious holiday candies like these would be hard to make, wouldn't you? But listen to this. They take no cooking. They're made a new easy way with Instant Pet non-fat dry milk. To make these mellow, creamy divinity drops, for instance. You just add Instant Pet and powdered sugar to melted marshmallows. Mix in vanilla, raisins, and nuts. Drop them like cookies, and that's all you do. And it's just as easy to make luscious coconut checkerboards. Tutti Fruity Slices, chock full of good things. Or rich little chocolate crunchies. Remember, it takes instant pet in dry form to make uncooked candies as good as these. Want the recipes? They're in this handy folder. Look for it at the instant pet display at your grocer's. Or write Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, for a very pleasant evening. I hope that you had one, too. And now all of us here at CBS join the makers of Johnson's Wax and the makers of Pet Milk in wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week again. Produced by Cecil Barker. Directed by Seymour Burns. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse